Welcome everyone! In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use a PowerShell script to check if the IIS role is installed on your server or on a remote server. Also, we'll see how we can check in a bulk manner. So if you have 200 servers, 1000 servers, you can use this script to check if each server have the IIS role installed or not. So let's start together. The first thing you have to do is to go to the start menu and go to and open Windows PowerShell ISE. So here we are. Before we start, just to have an idea, here in my lab I have three servers. I have IS1 here, IS2. These both servers have IS role installed and I have the domain controller here, which I didn't install IS on just for testing. So I have two servers with IS and one without IS. Okay, so now in IS Server 1, I will show you how you can check if the IS role is installed using a simple script. Just go to File and click Open, and I will use the local server script. Don't worry about the script, just concentrate on the video and understand the concept. I will put all the scripts on my website, you can find the link in the description below. So you can see here we have an if statement checking if the Windows feature web server install state is equal to installed, then print is is installed on server. Here server is a variable you can change if you want and or define the script above. But since we are using a local server, so you can simply say on this server. You will see how we gonna use this variable server and other scripts in a little bit let's save this script now and click run and very nice you can see is is installed on this server let's now copy this script and go to my domain controller to check if it will give you the same results or not it must give me that this uh, this server does not have IIS so let's paste the script and let's save it anywhere and click run now and very nice you can see is is not installed on this server so this is the first script you can use to check if the is role is installed on your local server where you are running this script and by the way you can check any windows feature or windows role in this way just change this web server here to the feature name you want to check and you can check for any role or feature also you can change these to whatever you want this is a statement I wrote by myself you can write whatever you want okay the second script we are going to see now is how to check for this role on a remote machine or on a remote server so simply let's click on file open and go and open remote without credentials firstly you can see now I define the server variable here and you can pass the server name I passed IS2 which is the second server on my network and in the same way we use the same script but now we pass the dash computer name parameter and pass the server name here this script is called remote without credentials this is because we are accessing the remote machine without passing credentials I am doing this because my machines are on the same domain and I am logged in with the domain administrator so no need for a credential let's test this I will run the script as you can see now is is installed on is2 let's use the d server which is my domain controller and save the script and run you can see is is not installed on d server very nice now let's see the third script which is remote with credentials let's open the script remote with the credentials and now it's the same script but now we are passing the credentials parameter and passing the username which is is domain my domain and administrator user let's run this script now and you can see now we are required to enter a password for this user so let's enter the password and very nice everything is working fine now we have the last script which is the main important one which allow you to check for servers in bulk if we have 1000 server maybe 
2000 server whatever you want let's create everything now and open the last script which is with cred you can see here I am reading the server list from a text file in my C drive so let's open the C drive and go to C I have here server list open it you can see I have IS1 IS2 and D server just create a text file and add your own servers on in this file let's close it and you can see I'm importing all the servers to this service parameter and then I'm looping on each server and executing the same script which is the get windows feature commandlet but now what you have to take care of is the credentials if you remember from the last script we entered the password manually we can't loop through 1000 server and enter the password each time so for that I will define a credentials parameter here using the username the password you want and convert the password to a secure string because PowerShell uses secure strings and then you can define a new credentials object in the automation model and pass the username and the password and then you can use this secure credentials in your script so now let's run through the three servers and check for IS role let's run the script okay and let's wait a little bit and very nice you can see IS is installed on IS1 installed on IS2 not installed on D server so you can add whatever servers to this text file and check for your IS web role if installed or not as I told you you can change this role to whatever role you want on your server so you check for any role if you want very nice I think the idea is somehow simple and clear please if you have questions you have suggestions you have comments contact me and I will be with you anytime thank you for following if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel to like the video and to press on the bell for notifications you can also view our other lectures thank you and see you in other videos